Hi there, I'm Roberta Fernandez, a board certified hypnotist and a certified hypnosis instructor. And because we're online, we can be anywhere in the world you want to be. And today we're coming from Verano in Italy. You know, I had a great idea for a blog this week and then Wednesday happened and that changed a lot. Like many people, I sat glued to the television, switching between six or seven TV stations. And it's taken me a couple of days to recoup from being overwhelmed by a lot of emotion. So today we're going to talk about anger. While anger is one of the most powerful and destructive emotions, it is good. That's right, if you've been listening to me for a while, you know I've said this before, all emotions are good. They're your internal GPS system that tells you that you're not getting something that you need or that you want. Now, you might think that anger is bad because of the way that some people behave when they're angry. And to most, the behaviors that we witnessed at our nation's capital were not the best way to deal with anger. Those behaviors actually make it worse because now people focus on your angry actions rather than upon your need. So let's talk for a moment about what anger is trying to tell you. Anger is your perception that something isn't fair and there's a desire within you to make it fair. When you feel angry, the first thing you have to do is to make sure that it's anger that you're really feeling. Because like a wolf in sheep's clothing, it's easy to misinterpret anger. And like all negative emotions, they can become habitual because when you consistently get what you want by being angry, by expressing that anger, it becomes a default emotion, but it may not be the real emotion that you're feeling. So you have to ask yourself, am I angry or am I frustrated? Uh, or are you really sad because you feel you've lost something or someone that is of value to you? Now, both of these emotions, frustration and sadness, indicate that the need is something other than unfairness. And because all emotions demonstrate a different need, they have to be addressed accordingly in order to, for those needs to be satisfied. You also must question if the anger that you're feeling is based in reality. Is the situation really unfair? Or am I angry because I didn't get what I want? Or I'm overtired or I'm hungry. Now I know that may sound silly, but the expression of being hangry has some truth to it. So here's the bottom line. Maybe you feel you've lost control as this past year has piled on a lot of different stresses, evoking a myriad of emotions. Perhaps your old belief system or way of handling things are not working for you anymore. So give us a call today and let us help you get to the root of what's going on. I'm Roberta Fernandez, helping you take back control by unlocking the power of your mind to reach your goals of any kind.